I was an operations officer. My job was to spot, assess, recruit, and uh, run um, foreign agents for the U.S. government. And I certainly don't look like the typical spy. I'm, I'm not a James Bond look, am I? <laughs> you know, danger is relative. When you're 30 years old, you probably don't see the same danger as when you're 50 or 60. Um, I was single, I had um, the world ahead of me, and I saw this as a challenge, as something that was worthwhile, and it became my mission. But I worked undercover, and people looked at me as a 30-year-old woman probably thinking I was a secretary. And we would collect uh, intelligence from these agents, which filled in the, the knowledge of our government about the world. The spy exhibit has a purse that I carried in Moscow. It, it's an ordinary leather purse, and interesting, it has no concealment pockets in it. It is just a regular purse, because I always had to worry that they would go into my, the KGB would go into my apartment when I wasn't there and search my belongings. So we, I didn't have purses with secret hiding places in them. But this one was just the perfect size to carry pieces of concrete or asphalt, which were, of course, hollowed out devices where we put spy gear for our agents. There are human beings attached to this and they're the ones taking the risk. They're the ones that collect the secrets and they're the ones that live the secret life in their government or in their group uh, that is, allows us then to have an insight into that. But they're very human, absolutely. It's